And if we pause to take a moment to understand what is exactly happening, if we grab one of the healthy discs here, we can see very clearly that we've got the fluid in the middle, which is the nucleus. That's this little solid block here. And then around the edges here, we've got layers. You guys can hopefully pick that up on the camera here, but those layers are the annulus fibrosis, lots of layers. And so that when we squash down on this disc, it bulges out because those ligaments, like all ligaments, have a degree of spring, a degree of give to them. And that's a fundamentally normal Normal process. But when we have injured the disc, what we have is that we've broken through some of those layers fundamentally. And now we've got fewer layers restricting this disc's path out this way compared to here. And like with anything, if we've got pressure in the system, the pressure is going to try and escape through the path of least resistance, which is why these things often get worse. And so to round that off, we are dealing with, in the case of the disc herniation, a loss of the ability of that segment of the spine to deal with and bear load in a functional way. And so after we've had our surgery, in this case the L45 disc has been operated on and removed, or the part of the disc that was bulging has been removed, we are no longer suffering perhaps from some elements of the symptoms, but we have not healed the disc.